met you for the very first time You said that I was so divine Louisiana, I wait for you to be back in my sight Oh, jewels in my skin Please help me to find peace within Please help for to swallow my sin Oh, jewels in my skin One for every grin that you gave to me Oh, Louisiana will hear me When it is my time to be free When I call Louisiana waits for me What's the difference between being a runaway and being homeless? Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle where managing what little money you have left is essential, so whenever you shop, make sure you prioritize for your three basic food needs. These are of course your proteins, your starches, and your carbs. Someone once told me that every town has a bowling alley and a church. I've yet to find an exception. Even though they meant it literally, I took it to heart with a different context. There's two sides to a town see, one of obligation and one of indulgence. The latter of the two is always tempting, but my next tip for you is try and avoid to put all your eggs in one basket. You and I both know your resources are thin as it is, so be as frugal as possible when you explore your local culture. crazy how a road connects you to pretty much anywhere. You can get from your driveway to the White House without stepping foot off tarmac. But that means it's tough to pick a road to follow. However, be it a silver platter or a creepy silver van, direction can be served to you if you keep an open mind. Especially if someone just asks, Hey there stranger, where are you headed? Uh, I'm just walking. Well, you want to ride? I'm going the same direction. Uh, no thanks. You sure about that? It's gotta be 100 degrees out, man. Uh, uh, maybe you can take me to the next town over, actually, yeah. Yeah, Stonewall's right over there. I could drop you there. Yeah, yeah, Stonewall's, okay, sure. All right. All right, man, hop in. So, are you looking for a job by any chance? Uh, I don't think so. Well, if you were, I could give you one. If you want, I can leave you my number. I work at a farm and we're always looking for a hand. Yeah, I don't know. How yeah. far away is that farm? Back away to Shreveport. I can go there after I run some errands. You can come with me if you want. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Does it, have, does it have a shower? No, I know what you're thinking. First off, gross. But you know what? You'd smell too if you just dumpster dive for dinner. And second off, don't runaways hate work? And yeah, part of that's true. But we're also opportunists, so if someone's offering me a place to stay and trust me enough to grant me certain privileges on their property, I'm taking it. So this is the bunkhouse. In the summer, there's a camp that lives here, but honestly, I don't think there's going to be anybody else while you're here. We got electricity and showers, obviously, but unfortunately, no AC. You can have any bed you want, really. Uh, breakfast is at 8.30, dinner's at 7 p.m. Any questions? 
Uh, no, no. All right. Well, I'll see you in the morning then. Another good practice as a runaway is to keep a diary of all the places you've visited so you can remember if you've liked them. I burned mine last winter for warmth. So, instead, I started to keep hats, and for the sake of brevity, I keep the descriptions short. On the crown, I write the name of the town when I settle in, and an adjective when I leave. Basically, when you're splitting wood, you want to exploit this. It's the natural cracks in the wood that if you raise the axe above your head, you give it a good swing, you get it in there, it'll feel like you're slicing butter or something, you know, it just goes right through. So take a good stance, step back a bit, and give it a try. I think you need some practice. I'll leave you to it. I read somewhere that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. I don't think that's actually the definition, but it did help me come up with a motto. Work smarter, not harder. We runaways aren't built for strength and we're not built for endurance, but we're creative. If something doesn't work the first time, we solve it. Just like butter. So I guess you've traveled a lot. Yeah, I've been I've been around. I've been to Topeka, Denver, Knoxville, uh, Dallas, Shreveport. Wow, that's quite a list. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been around. What about what about you? Where have you been? Um, not really anywhere. I mostly just stay on the farm. I went to New Orleans two years ago for a festival, though. You've never left Louisiana. No, I haven't. I always want to go to California, though. I always wanted to learn how to surf. Yeah, you do it, man. You should go. What really is the difference between being homeless and being a runaway? The problem I've always had with the title runaway is the connotation that plagues the last two syllables. It makes it seem like what we try and do is get away from something. I don't think that's true. I'd like to think I'm going towards something, even if I don't know what that thing is. I think the term homeless probably has a similar affliction, depending on what you mean by home, I guess. I bet a lot of people would think differently about it if they used the term houseless. I sure don't consider a highway underpass a house, yet I never feel homesick when I wake up beneath one. I guess what I'm trying to say is, there's a lot out there to explore, and as long as you have the right attitude, you'll never be homeless. So. Be it wayfarer, drifter, vagabond, or bum, just remember, the difference is 
lifestyle.